When you are on the go, you need your credit union to be right there with you. Hughes Federal Credit Union makes your life easier. For 60 years, Hughes has called Southern Arizona home and has given back to our community. Isn't that who you want as your financial partner? Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with Greg Hansen. GH, the Arizona baseball team, uh, did a ripoff of Major League. Uh, sweet. Isn't it great? Go to Tucson.com. We've got that video there. And now that's gotten me in the mood for baseball. And lucky for us, there is baseball. Friday, High Corbett Field, Arizona versus the mighty whatevers of Eastern Kentucky. Hoping to get back to Omaha uh, after making it to within really two runs of winning the national championship a year ago. Uh, you're excited about this team. You think that they have the pieces to, to get back there, don't you? I do. I think they're solid all around. They've got three new freshman starters at third base, second base, and right field. Right. And those guys are big-time projected players. Mm -hmm. Their pitching staff is really good. J.C. Cloney, he's, I mean, he's good. Right. Um, but the league is really tough, yeah. as always. As always. As o always. Oregon State, number one. No, Stanford, top five. Stanford. No kidding. If you go 16 and 14 in the Pac-12, mm -hmm. you got a chance to get to Omaha. Absolutely. And, and you look around the league, it's so funny. The teams that normally you would sort of discount are all kind of good. Yeah. I mean, Utah. Utah won the league last year. Let's start there. Cal is interesting, if not always good. USC had a bunch of guys drafted a they year did, ago. Yeah. UCLA will always get all the really good players. Arizona State, I mean, the this sounds bad, and don't quote me on this in May. ASU might be the easiest weekend they have, yeah. Arizona has. I mean, this is, it's a deep league where, I mean, there's no easy weekends outside of maybe, what, Wazoo, Washington? Could, well, Washington's been good. Washington though. has been good, yeah. Um, and Oregon's terrific. Yes. Um, I, who isn't impressed with Jay Johnson? Yeah. I mean, right. he gets the most out of Nevada, gets the most out of Arizona. Mm -hmm. um, He's a terrific recruiter. He's a small ball guy. Mm -hmm. I thought it was funny. ASU announced yesterday they were going to move their fences in 17 feet. I saw that. Jay Johnson would move his back 17 feet. Right. And it's funny. You know, you replaced Andy Lopez played that way, yeah. too, and was criticized for it. I think that Jay Johnson looked around at not only his stadium, High Corbett Field, the way uh, a hard infield plays in the desert in, in the spring and summer, and then he looked at the players he had. I mean, I think small ball is the way to go. Small ball gets you to Omaha. And there's one thing that, that I learned when I was in Omaha. You know what the dimensions of uh, TD Ameritrade Park are? I was there, but I know it's a long way. I can't remember. The it's name. basically the dimensions at High Corbett Field. Wow. And so if you can win in High Corbett Field, you can win in Omaha. I sound like Andy Lopez. Right. But, but if you can do that, you can do that. And this is, uh, this is going to be a really compelling team. Uh, the one, I think, downside if you're Arizona, you're not sneaking up on anybody anymore. I mean, this is a team that I think last year was able to sneak up on people well into April and May. Um, now, I mean, they are the team that people circle on the calendar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think the community's involved, too. Yeah. I, I think they'll draw more than 3,000 Friday night, unless yeah. it rains or something. And I, I think they'll draw more than 100,000 fans this year. Wow. Set the all-time per-game attendance record there. Wow. They've yeah. got a good chance. They do have a good chance. They do have a good chance. And you know what? The little things that fans like, I, I think, you know, High Corbett is being improved. I think it's a good place to watch a game. Yeah. They're putting more chair backs. They're getting you a little bit closer to the action. I think that's great. Um, you know, it's a good year. And frankly, if the weather cooperates all year long, if we have a nice mild spring, um, the ballpark could be where everybody goes on a Friday night. Yeah, I think in the last couple of years, the, the attitude of the community is that it's a fun place to go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's, it's such a far cry from Kindle Sunset Stadium. Yeah. Who knows what they would have been drawing now, but it's not this. Yeah. I mean, it's not 3000 a night, you know, or 3000 a game. Well, parking's better, and they sell um, what is that? Light. Uh, beer, yes, yes. Never underestimate the power of beer to baseball games. Yeah. yeah. It, it's certainly going to be interesting. Uh, Jay Johnson is a guy, Greg, and, the, and then I'll let you go. Uh, I mean, basically turned a good year into a very long, very lucrative contract here at Arizona. Um, he's a guy who I think did more with less last year. How do you think he can handle doing more with more? Yeah, we'll see. He's never been in that situation. I mean, Nevada won, won the Mountain West, but then he left. And so we'll see. I mean, but he's got, I mean, Nick Quintana, that freshman at third base. Yeah, poof. I know. He's a big-time player. I know. As good as, I mean, he didn't, he was drafted high and did not sign. Yeah, I mean, he is a guy who could be their next sort of, 
big leaguer right. or, or a high draft pick. <clears throat> They got good players everywhere. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. For Greg Hansen, he's the best Arizona baseball player of all time. Is it Tito? Is it? Is it? Got to be National yeah? Player of the Year. Got to be, doesn't it? How about Scott Erickson? Is eighteen he, to three. Pretty good. Um, oh, eighteen to one. But there are some players in the fifties who were terrific too. Car yeah. Carl Thomas. Carl Thomas. Yeah. Carl Thomas. I like it. I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time.